How good is that movement from Sitsipas? Oh, Berrettini's not convinced he got there in time. Oh, this is interesting. He's saying there was topspin on that ball. If you dig that ball up, there's no way there can be topspin on a shot like that. It has to be backspin. Does he get there? Oh, it's very, very tight. That is so close, so tough to tell, actually. Bullying risk in that point. Yeah, bullying is the right word. And it is three break points for the Russian. Risk is making the point though that you meant to play at the yeah. server's pace, so not happy that Sharapova is making her wait. Sharapova is clearly getting into the head of Alison, making her going out of her focus. Yeah, yeah and that wasn't the, the exchange yeah, you, you kind of them. wanted to have, really. Just before. And a sharp start and frustration that did that racket and its services are no longer necessary as Bianca Andrescu has surged ahead. Where have we seen this before? Up a break, three love, and what will be the deciding set in Indian Wells. and I need to stay with ball the in court. But he said he was in. No, no, you have to go. Okay. No, no. Yes. Why? Because he didn't hear you. He's no. old, he didn't hear you. No, no, he's not old. He said he was in. No, no, no. Okay, ask him. I did ask once. I don't need to ask twice. Okay. I, I understand he might he be... He showed the hand like this but and he didn't I... say anything. And when you ask him, he showed like this. It's not, it's not fair. He's lying. Ask him again. But he showed two times here. But it's also me here. And if I see it clear out, I call it out. Yeah, but we didn't see it, obviously, what? because you say, I don't know. That's so why what I'm now? telling you. That's why I'm telling you. That's why you say that you're here. That's, That's why I'm telling you that I might make a mistake because it was difficult like this. Okay, so you go over the linesman. So ask the linesman then. But I haven't seen it out. Ask I thought it was too close and I asked him was in. Yes, so ask him again. I'm not touching oh, it. Can you ask him again? He said he was in and I... Call him here, why not? I don't need to call him. <laughs> I don't need to call him. I... We need what? to continue. You don't have to go and talk to him. Honestly, I did ask twice. Probably it was a big mistake. On, I understand, but we need, to go. we need to go like this. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry, it's not here. 30 15. How many times do I have to ask? How many times? It's a mistake. If it is, I'm sorry. I told you already. I asked twice, and we go in. It's not possible. It's impossible. Because you're saying I'm sorry. I don't accept your sorry. I don't accept it. Enough 
nothing I can do. That's the best I can. No, that's the best I can do. I want to know if it was. I I cannot call for that. Oh yes, of course you no. can call. No, yes. I don't. I don't. Hey, you want me to call or what? For what? I want to talk to the supervisor. You can talk at the end of the game. No, then. He can come and call. I, I want to talk to the supervisor, not when you tell me, please. When I want, okay? I can do whatever I want. No. I can call to talk to the supervisor. No, I, honestly. Okay. Now, if you talk like okay. this, so we leave, we really need to continue. Uh, I I can stay I, with I you. I will continue after I speak to the supervisor. No. Please. No. But, but now you're stubborn. I'm stubborn also. You give me code violation, I will sit on the bench. You give me code violation, I will sit on the bench. You give me default, then we talk. Yeah, we are not talking about default. Yeah, I'm yeah, talking yeah, about. That's what it's going to be. You're going to talk. Let's play. Yeah. Yes. Please call the supervisor. Hello. Radu. Yes. I'm not calling for that ball. Yes. And you know how it works. Yes, please. So now... Now you say let's play. Yes. The supervisor. Okay. Think, yeah. Let's play. You want me to call the supervisor or what? Yeah. You want me to go and call him in the, in the office? No. Please, call the supervisor. I have the right to speak. I told you that we are to play. You still have 10 seconds to go. And at the end of the game, you can talk. I'm calling the At the end of the game? Which game? Of the match? Of, I don't know you send you. I'm telling you. No, I'm, I'm telling you how it works. If you don't go I'm to sorry. play, now I'm it's sorry. Well, why, why I can't talk to the supervisor? Why? Because we're not talking about something that didn't happen on court like a ball. No. And I'm telling you already twice, <laughs> and you know how it works. Time and laps, and now if, if you don't So go, what are you going to give me? Default? You want to go no. off the court? I give you a code and, and then? then whatever you want. Yeah, you can continue. The I have the right to talk to him. It's my right, come on, what are you doing now? No, not for the ball. What are you talking? I can talk to the supporter no. when I want. Okay. Coordination. Okay. Delay of game, warning, I bought. You're stubborn. No, I'm not. I'm telling you, it. it's not fair for him. It's for not who? fair. For, for your opponent. Ask him if the ball was in, first of all. It's not fair for me. Let's start from here. Because I already told you. Because my opponent was in front of the ball. What are you talking about? I already you know told you. Out. You need to go in your play. So what are you doing? The last one is a talent. He show like this, then he show like this. You say I make a big mistake. I'm sorry. No. So what do you want me to do now? Everybody say sorry. And you give me time violation. You give me. No, I gave you a correlation delay of game because you should continue play. Sorry, but please call the supervisor yeah. and talk to him. Please. And then I can tell you. Ricardo, can you please come on court because Albert uh, wanted to argue about a call and then he did not want to continue play. He got a let's play and a correlation. Now he wants to talk to you. We are 30-15 in the middle of the game. I'm coming. You can talk, you can tell him the situation when he's here. Wife says, Andrea. I'm following the rule. I speak English because I want him to understand. I'm following the rule. He wanted to talk to the supervisor because of the call. I cannot touch it. He said he was in. I asked twice. So now I didn't want to continue play. I had to give a correlation delay, okay? And now we can talk to the supervisor because I gave him a correlation. So now the supervisor is coming. No, it's a warning. Correlation delay, okay? Delay of game is a normal correlation like a record abuse. And then, with a call, 
the last one. First call was out. Yeah, second call, when you ask second time, he say good. Yeah, yeah. And then I say, but... Five, can even he didn't overrule. He said like this, and he didn't say it. There was no call because it was a winner. He moved the hand, he said, I haven't seen it, but I believe it. Sorry, when so I asked, he said... The ball was, the ball was like this, drop shot. The but there was, was no out call. He didn't call out, but no. he shot like this, with the hand. I thought when you overall you say like this and say correction, this is a world. No, so after the Chenapar after he said that he should not be. Okay. Okay. The second question I want to ask you. Okay, that's enough. This is the line. The ball ends here. Explain me how you can see it here. This is the ball. This is, this is the bounce. This is the bounce. He showed like this with the hand, and then when the lady asked him, he said, I mean, I'm sorry, what is this? He's supporting Italian or what? I think you're the one empire. If he continued to make. This is cheating for me. Uh, honestly, if you don't see him one meter out, probably. The lady just told me, probably, I think, uh, she made a mistake. Probably she made a mistake, he made a mistake. I'm sorry, but I need the points. 4, 3, 2, 2, 30. Okay, change points. Carreta 15. 30, 15. Siegmund gets the upper hand when Putin Saver manages to chase down a shorter ball. take me most of the day. Very aggressive position. Yeah, and she's got to get into it, doesn't she? She's got to be aggressive into that forehand corner. Here. Footwork is going to be so key today as it will be a... Well, just for the moment, as she attends to her shoelace, it's just important to remember that today is the opening day of the tournament, and it is another Roland Garros champion, Ostapenko. She's in this quarter of the draw, as is probably. Not quite. Which has taken the first set against Emma Raducanu, 6-2. Oh. 
crucial junction in this uh, this set. And that's a lovely shot, actually, from Ostapenko, because I think Putin Sable was expecting that to be rifled back. I'm wondering if Putin Sable realizes this isn't the change of ends. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Potenceva's shoelace broke. She gets no reasonable time to replace this shoelace as it's considered equipment out of adjustment. Oh, <laughs> oh there you go. Thank you, Miriam Blake. Not something you normally have to do, but trying to get the little minglet through the hole. It's always fiddly and you've got to get it crossways and three this time, I'll be. She survives it, and that's what it means to her. The relief, the scream of relief. Yes. Vavra Gracheva, 6-4, six, 6-4, four, six, four, the result in the first one this morning. Uh, early afternoon, actually, and... Uh, We've seen this already this week from Julia Potenza. We saw it against and just yes, yeah, the shoelaces again for uh, Potenza and doing it the right thing of just staying loose, staying calm. <laughs> but if you swing, uh, you swing and miss it. But if you swing and miss it, so. Also, oh, it's second serve for Townsend. The wind, unfortunately, playing havoc for her there. But she still has a smile on her face. That's your fifty. Amazing defense, what a game Serena Williams has just played there. Well, a brilliant final game of that opening set from Serena Williams. Well, to get that last point of the game, Serena will be pretty happy with uh, the way that she's played, actually. I think she's played a lot better than she did yesterday against Christina McHale. Just a reminder as to what's already happened today. And unfortunately, Elise Corne. It's the same thing that there's this player but it's always occupied. It was last, no, no, yeah, but then, I mean, it took already. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't matter now. No, it doesn't matter. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah, I mean, I don't want to take 10 minutes, but every time it's the same, you're going to put up a sign there saying it's like a player toilet. And I mean, I, I, I knocked and I said, hey, I'm a player, and you go now, and you say, Sigmund clearly not happy with uh, the toilet, I should say, constantly being occupied. Aren't the wind has picked up, I have to say. It may just be coming a bit of a, an issue. That's uh, certainly an issue there for her on serve. Time. Well, I mentioned earlier the cluster of American players in this particular bracket of the draw. Another American has advanced as well, although it was a guaranteed advance for the Stars and Stripes because Sloan Stevens was playing Katie McNally, 7-6-6-4. Oh, 
like where you live here in Kingdom Come. Yeah. So if the wind blows it, I can't hit the ball. I'm just saying. It's fine. I can't control God. It's a risk you take, you know? I can't control the wind yeah. or God. So then, it, five then I will call out the tour director. But I'm just saying that if the wind blows, there's nothing I can do about that. I can't control God. Talk to him. Just go away. Well, an interesting little exchange there between Venus and Alessandro Germani. Just asking the chair umpire, or yeah, a request almost to take into account the wind. Mm -hmm.